All right, our new server rack is here. So we just get to get this thing cracked open. Now, the reason why I went with this particular rack is uh, because it's the only one of its size. So it's 25U and it's the only one of its size that can support 1,200 pounds. And it's also the most, or wait, least inexpensive of all the racks that I looked at. So that's pretty much why we went with this one. And of course, I'll leave a link in the video description below uh, if you guys are interested in this particular rack. So uh, because it can support 1,200 pounds, I think that we'll be able to hold everything and then some of all of the things that I have uh, in my home lab, like no problem. And we also need a new rack because mine is completely full, obviously. Some of you might be wondering why did I go with a 25U rack as opposed to like a 32 or even a 42. Well, I think a 42U rack would fit inside of my server closet, but unfortunately um, it would be a hassle to get in there and I would also have to take down my network rack. And I don't want to combine my network rack with my server rack because I'm like constantly pulling and moving things. And my server rack is um, the most, or I'm sorry, my network rack is the most unused or untouched part of my home network. And it's the core part of my home, so it never gets touched, or I try not to touch it very often anyway, because there's people inside the house that are expecting the Wi-Fi and the internet to work. So I don't wanna be bringing that down all of the time uh, just for, uh, just because I wanna move like a server out of the closet or something. So uh, that's the reason why I would decide to go with the 25U because that way it would fit inside the server closet. It wouldn't impact the network rack. And also I should have plenty of space for everything I have currently and then some. Um, wow, okay, where to get started?
It's been about a week since I completed building the rack and I think it turned out great. I definitely like all the additional space I have, although it's starting to look a little full now, especially considering that I've uh, put another for you server workstation on the rack. So there's not really that much space left, uh, but I think it'll do for a long while. I did leave um, a two U worth of space at the bottom of the rack, just in case I decide to buy an EBM, an extended battery module from Eaton, uh, to give myself a little bit more uptime um, with the current setup I have. I really don't need it. I really, really, really don't need it, but I want it um, because I think it would be cool to have additional runtime. The power does go out, but it's usually just like out for a couple of minutes and then back on. Nothing where I even need to power the servers down in the event of a power outage safely anyway. So I don't need it, but I kind of want it. Um, and unfortunately, it's kind of expensive, so I'll probably end up never getting it, but I did leave the space there just in case. Uh, but overall, I think the build quality of the rack is good. It was fairly easy to put together, uh, just very awkward. I definitely am gonna miss my iStar USA one that was 15U. Uh, that one like was is easy to build, it's easy to break down, because it's like four pieces in total, I think. And everything just lines up really quickly really easily it's like eight bolts maybe maybe 10 at most whatever the case i'm going to miss that one you can't buy that one unfortunately they don't make them anymore they don't even make taller ones of that same model anymore um so that's kind of a shame but i definitely recommend this brand a lot more again link in the video description for that below um, i can see myself buying that in the future because at least with this particular model i had to have casters and i wanted to support a lot of weight so this one does 1200 pounds and has casters, which usually they support much more weight when they're on their peg legs or their feet and a lot less weight when they're in casters. But I wanted something that did a lot of weight plus casters so I could easily move it in and out of the closet. Um, so that way I could work on it because as you guys know, I'm like constantly racking and deracking those things and adding new parts and testing things out here and there. So it was important for me to have casters. And with that being said, I wanna thank each and every of you for watching and making videos like this possible because I did have to buy that with my own money. And honestly, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for everyone watching this video. Thank you very much. Peace.